horrible, strong tornado came through this town. It cut a, a path that was like 13 miles long, three quarters of a mile wide of destruction. So in addition to the death that this town had to deal with then. This past year, people have been rebuilding. One of my favorite people that I got to meet here is by the name of Cindy Ray. Cindy's home was not destroyed, it was damaged. And um, she talked a little bit about what she's gone through in this past year and how it's changed her. I think that you maybe stress a little easier. I, I have to say myself, I'm not the person I used to be, but maybe I'm better in some ways. But um, yeah, it's it's been hard. It's Good. but you just keep going. Yeah. And I just think of how fortunate I am. And you know, this is nothing compared to uh, what others right. have gone through. So here's a look at some of the pictures that she wanted to share with us. And at the same time, you know, this is before and the after. So that's what she had to deal with. And she makes note, this is so small compared to um, the families whose homes were reduced to, to sticks or, or much less. And, and she and a lot of people here in Joplin want to make the point how grateful they are for people who volunteered to come here right after the storm and work and people who continue to volunteer. Now, this is her um, digging a hole for a little sapling. Her project that she feels like is helping the area come back is that she is planting tiny little saplings of a tree that she hopes will bring back some of the green um, after so many of the trees were destroyed here. So that's what she does in her neighborhood. These tiny little trees she hopes someday will be beautiful um, shade providing trees in the town of Joplin. One of my favorite people that she met here.